Good afternoon, ladies. So I am sending you this video um, because it is going to pertain to the calendars that I have sent you in the mail. Um, I have watched quite a bit of training and Bridget had did some training after her, her uh, SSD retreat and I really liked the idea and I've actually been doing the idea. I sent, she sent me a calendar. So my calendar is a little bit bigger. She does a little bit more detailed stuff than I do. Um, so I can also send you guys her video that she did to show you guys about the tracking numbers and all of that. So I did not send these to everybody in the team. I only sent them to those who were um, close to promoting um, to superstar or above. So I wanted to kind of show you guys how I do mine and go from there. So I'm just going to kind of use your guys's stuff, uh, your guys's folder as an example, because I don't want you to see like my book because I want you to be able to use your book. So here we go. So how this is going to, how I suggest that you guys do this is that you go through your reporting tab and you run your report for one year ago. So we're going to pretend that it's July, but like, cause this is just what I'm using. So I would go and run my report to see what I had last year in July. So I would do my PRV. I would do my TWV, my active frontline all of that and I'm actually gonna do that. So I should have done it before I got this video going. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do July of 21 just to see. So we're gonna go here and I had, so I'm gonna use this as an example. So my PRV, and you really should color co coordinate so you can do this. So my PRV was 507.60, and my GWV was 9855.30, and I had eight active. So my TWV and my GWV is the same until I get directors underneath me. So I would start out with this in the corner, just like this. And then every single day, I'm going to keep up with my GWV and my TWV and my active frontline. So now I'm going to actually show you that on my paper. So see how I put my PRV, my GWV. And again, my GWV, my TWV is the same. So I don't know if you guys have both of those or not. And then how many active frontline? And then if you move down, I know this is backwards. I'm so sorry. I also put like who ordered that day. So sometimes I forget to track numbers daily. You'll notice that I don't track them every single day. I just don't feel the need to. So I just put who has ordered so that I know to send them thank yous at the end of the month because I do my thank you mails in bulk all at the end of the month. So all of these people have ordered and then the next day I will also do the tracking and I do that throughout the whole month. And now I also put when big ticket items come out and I totally forgot to do that this month on here on this side. So like if there's a big release, we know our big releases happen on Mondays. So I would put those things on there. Like for instance, we know next Monday is bricks so I would put on there that like see how I wrote bricks are there so I know that when I have my GWV jump from say Sunday to Monday and why there's such a big jump in PRV and in sales throughout the whole group team it's because the bricks came out um you know the same thing I should have done like villains and stuff like that but I didn't do it because I forgot so um, this has really helped me kind of see where I'm at, see where I need to do from, um, to be paid at director, to be paid at title, 
all of those things. Now, another cool thing that I think that I'm going to start tracking as well is annual sales. So um, I'm going to start putting my annual sales amount like up top here because sometimes you have blank papers. And so you can write it at the top, like you can write it up here. You could write it in a blank thing. So um, I would do like annual sales and then however much I am needed to get to annual sales so that each month I can put that down as well as annual mentor. You can do annual mentor and do that too. And then because we're in an, an incentive period, so I would do incentive points as well. So you can see where I can track all of my things. Now what I do suggest you do is that you write things in different colors. I bought these markers off from um, Amazon. They're actually calendar markers. They're fine pens. They're really nice. They're super thin. I'm actually using one right now. So other than that, if you have any questions, it's kind of short, sweet. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm tracking numbers. This is so that I can say, hey, um, I'm I'm this far away. Um, you could use red um, next month. I, I don't, I'm such a pink and a purple and a yellow and an orange person. So I think I'm going to do yellow for when I start out because, you know, I need $500 in sales no matter what. I need $500 in sales to be paid a title. So do you. So you should use like your color until you get to $500 in sales. And then you should like switch to a color when you get to $500 in sales because now you've made it to the point where you can be um paid at title and then when you, with the GWB and the TWB I'm going to use again the same color until I get to director numbers we almost are to director numbers today so um I once I hit director numbers I will switch it up and use to a different color so next month I am going to start doing color coordinating another thing is is that I have started to write who I've had actual joint conversations with who are interested. I'm not going to keep track of who I had that's not interested because really I don't like I don't need to. These folks are interested. These folks want to do it. So this is who I'm going to talk to. And I actually am going to reach out to two of them today because two of them are talking about joining today or Friday. So I, I've really been keeping track of things. I did give you guys the bigger folder, the bigger print so that you have more um, spots to write your stuff. And I will just give you a quick little example on how I'm going to do things next month. So again, pink, yellow, and orange are my colors. So I'm going to stick with the pink, yellow, and orange. I think I'm going to go yellow for like almost there. So let's say my PRV is, oh, you can't see yellow. So yellow is a no-go. We're going to go orange. So PRV, I'm just going to make up some numbers here, 500 PRV, GWV, again, I'm going to just make up numbers, and my TWV is the same, and then active frontline, I'm going to, let's say I'm going to say four. Okay, so this is how everything's going to be until orange. Now, let's say that I have now, it's a week later. And things are different I'm gonna to switch to pink because now my PRV is changed and I have my 500 PRV which I put 500 PRV there should I shouldn't have and then um, say the GWV is not where it needs to be so we're gonna say 7,000 GW TWV is the same and then active frontline we're gonna say eight so you can see where this is different, how the color is changing. And so that's, my mind works with colors. So now I'm going to say, let's say that the next week we have hit director numbers. And then up until every single person on my team is active, that's going to stay the same here. So, like, this is where, how I, I'm going to track. 
So I hope that that makes sense. Um, I will also send you guys Bridget's video if you would like. I will get this sent out. And if you have any questions or I did not make sense, please reach out. Um, I can probably explain it a little better. But if you need anything else, uh, let me know. See ya.